So just so you and I are clear, as long as you're in this cell and we don't have your fingerprints and we don't have your mug shots, this is dead time. This doesn't go toward you going home. So until you modify your behavior, you stay there. This is not the place for you to try and beat your chest and, and, and have all that bravado going on. It's not designed for you to win that way. You win by acting like an adult. We get a large variety of type of people, a lot of transients coming in, a lot of people with, um, with drug-related crimes coming in. It's always different. Lots and lots and lots of alcohol and drug-related crimes coming in. Come on over here, sir. Hey, you know me, Scott. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing I'm in cuffs. What do you mean, how am I doing? What brings you in today? I, I got drunk and stupid. That's what brought me in. How about drunk and stupid. More specifically, what's going on? Specifically, UUMV. Okay. Drunk and stupid, basically. Or literally. What do you mean, basically? Michael has been contrite. Michael told us where the car was. So we right got the car right. back. So the lady will get her car back. That was oh, nice stupid. of him. I did everything right. I, did, I got drunk and stupid. You and did stuff. some she stuff right. Just had a few drinks and. Oh, a few drinks, yeah. Michael? God, it's been like four years since I've been here. So you've been doing all right until today. I've been great. Until today. I've been doing so good. You don't even know. I just got me a new girl today. Hey, we were just. Oh my God, man, I can't believe this is happening right, to me, going? to be honest with you. This is like totally unbelievable. Five minutes ago, you told me you were expecting us. Oh, I was expecting. You had it still a surprise? Because it was four days ago, but getting drunk and stupid. So I apologize. So I apologize. I told where the car was, everything. So I walked out of the store, the car was started, and I just jumped in and left. So it was out there just idling? No, oh, yeah. It was just right there, started. And I've never done that before, ever in my life. I've never had a UUMV, Scott. You know me. So I've got a lot of charges, bro, but I it never a UUMV. Come on, man. So where did you go? I, I, mean, I just left. And after I went a block, I'm like, holy <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> you know? So you got out the car after like a block or so? No, I you took it to all my friend Meyer so I wouldn't get in trouble. I thought they'd just um, check somebody out there. I'm stupid, you know? I mean, I'm really a nice guy, though. He was entirely on the video at the store immediately before going outside to steal the car. To steal the car? I, went, I didn't go out there to steal the car. Okay, I, I, mis I misspoke. You went outside, was... and then the car yeah, here you go. slid 10 yeah. feet to the right, and you fell into the driver's seat. Bro, the son of a bitch was started. I was drunk. I was like, holy <laughs> There's a started car. I jumped in it and left. Steal me. And three blocks away. Seductively. God, you're an ass. Three blocks away. I, three blocks away, I'm like, holy what am I doing? You know, I didn't do this on purpose. I mean, come on, Scott. Please, man. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I f***ed up. And you're owning it, so that's actually... And that's that's right. actually I the... Up, that's a redeeming you know? quality, but you're actually, you're actually owning it, so... I know what happened. You know, right. I f***ed up. Okay. You know, and I wish I... Dude, I just talked to my new girl, and I was like... I just stole a car four days ago. I'm like, hey, I don't even know how to... How to um, how to make up for it, you know what I mean, as far as karma goes? Because I'm a karma guy, man. You know, I didn't, and she's like, well, we'll, we'll check it out, you know. And here I am. Michael, come on. He said he went to a store, walked outside the store, there was a car there idling. And he goes, hmm, car idling, jumps in the car and drives off. He said a couple blocks later, he's like, what am I thinking? So he goes and ditches the car in a supermarket parking lot, and then they wind up picking him up shortly thereafter. You look okay? You look good. I always look good. Put your head up straight. I always look good. Put your head straight and start moving. I don't smile. I can't but smile. Take my picture. Come on. Sign down there on the bottom of the story, y'all. One more. All right, so you can go wash your hands over there. He got early release before he talks to the judge. He'll leave, they'll give him a court date. He'll have to come back and then touch base with the judge about what he did, which is basically what we call arraignment when you're formally told up your charges. Ready to go release? We're gonna stand on the black line. All right, let's head out. Yeah, I don't need that around no more, bro. So what's it gonna be, healthy, a, you know? another four years before I see you again? Yeah, probably, at least that, at least that.
But not and she for, comes out, come do my barbecue. But not, uh, <laughs> not for jumping in cars, island in front of stores. Damn, that man, time, huh? that's terrible, man. I feel so bad, you know. I was just talking to my new girlfriend. I'm like, how am I gonna make this right? She's like, well, I know. She never told me. Yeah, I'll be damned if I go to jail tonight. You know, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I think the coolest thing about it is, you know, you're taking some ownership behind it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. There's actually, uh, sounds like there's actually some remorse. That's actually redeeming. That makes me think that you might not be coming back in I'm here. I'm not coming back. It's actually, <laughs> it's not too busy tonight, so you got, you got cleared a little earlier. I right, was gonna have you sign some papers, man, then you um, step through that and you know the way out. Right. I know it's been a minute. Take care of yourself. Right. You have a good one, bro. No more cars, right? No, hell no. So tonight, he's out. Hopefully, we won't see him back in in any vehicles that aren't his. I try to treat the inmates just like I'd want to be treated if I was arrested with courtesy and respect until I can't do that anymore. But if you don't cause me any problems, we won't cause you any problems. We're just here to try to get you through the process with the least amount of conflict that we can. Bullsh**, man. Why are we here? All right. uh Real, man. You got anything sharp in your pockets? No, I don't. What happened? They tell me I'm beating on my wife, man. My baby, my girl got a baby and she got kicked out of the Rialto. And now they're saying that now I'm the one beating on her, man. Crazy. What's the Rialto? The bar. The bar. The bar. Okay. My girl, she's telling him right there, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. But I'm still going to jail because somebody else say they see something different. I never touched her, man. All the dope dealers on the street, and you got to make me go to jail for doing the right thing? Because you a hater? What are you, a d or what, man? That's oh, great. Why don't you talk to them for the Hey, man. Vincent. Beat your mother yeah. bitch yeah. ass, Paul. Hey, 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 it's hey, not hey. nice. Wait, it's Vincent. not right here. I brought you here. Spit in your mother <laughs> face, bitch. I ain't even a cop, bitch. Yo, punk. Vincent, right here. One more. Come on. You can't Paper. Sign a paper. Bitch. Vincent. Sign you, man. Vincent, I brought. Right, come on. Yeah. Let's take your time out for a sec. Come on, man. Easy. Easy. That ain't right, though, man. Have a sit, man. We'll get you. We'll get you in a couple minutes. Just have a seat. Chill out. He was brought in for domestic violence, coercion, and assault. For he's kind of drunk. He's been drinking. Chances are there's something more going on than Vincent was telling us. Hey, Vincent. Yeah. Come on out, man. We'll get you processed. Are you on parole or probation? Parole. OK. They did a PV on you, too, just to let you know. Wrong, man. He told him let me leave him alone. He never did nothing, man. All right. So why am I in jail for nothing? Well, you got assault for DV, uh, coercion, which means you were uh, permitting somebody to move freely. Come on, man. And then man. they put a detainer Nobody... on. I'm just telling you what they did so you'll know what's going on, all right? Nobody did nothing. All right. All right, go ahead, have a seat. Hey, Vincent, what are you on, what are you on parole for? No, what did you do prison time for? For, for a uh, burglary. Burglaries? All right. Come on, man. I'm the sober one. I'm the one that's not drinking. No, I don't know how sober you are. I'm not bad. Come on. You look, do I look up? A little bit, yeah. But I'm, but I'm good enough you're, that you're not but hammered. I'm you're not hammered, but you're, yeah, hammered, you, but you've been coherent. drinking. But I'm coherent, you are, though. You are, you are. And I know what's going on, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's going to hurt that. That's my wife with a baby, man. No. All right. Stand up. You know I ain't a bad guy, right? You don't seem like it. Yeah, you do. All right. All right, right over here. Sit up over here? Right here? Oh. <laughs> you all right? Watch don't out, go down. Man. It's the pants. You know what it is? Uh, I don't it's think it's the pants. It's the pants, man. I think it was the, the booze before the pants. Oh, come on, man. All right. all right, take this. You're going to walk Mary down this black with line? A, with a baby in her body. Nag like I'm trying to hurt her. Come Will you direct him, Fitch? All right, go and have a seat. Yeah. Can I get a sandwich? Why? Well, so they give me a wristband. Domestic violence, they can't take a chance. If, there's, if they even think there's been an assault, they have to arrest. A lot of times, the person that's being victimized won't tell the truth for fear that she'll lose. Maybe he's supporting her. Maybe he's you know, paying, the, paying the bills. But it doesn't mean that she's not being assaulted by him. So I have to wait and see. I'd say the most frequent substance abuses that come in have to do with alcohol and heroin and methamphetamine. They used to say that Portland, Oregon was like the meth capital of the world. Lots and lots and lots of alcohol and drug-related crimes coming in. Take a look. 
You got a skateboard? This is his mode of transportation. What'd you do? When I was on the Mac, no fare. No fare? Well, it, I had fare. I had fare. Uh huh. But the machine wasn't working. So, that's my bad. But you got money on you. Well, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. I had my fare, but the machine wasn't working. So, you know, well, this is the first for me. Uh, you got no weapons on you? No, I got no needles? Um, All right, let's get those cuffs off. Yes, please. Oh. Ow. Yeah, tell him to bring a wheelchair and see if they'll keep his skateboard back just, there. Just, is that what we did last time? Yes. Yeah. Officer, oh, what's his charges? Uh, theft of services. Theft of services. We were working downtown with our undercover operations team, and he's known to deal drugs down there. And we were asked to contact him. We contacted him. He had no fare. Gave the excuse that he couldn't buy it, but. It's typical for him. He's been arrested down here before. Quite a bit of problems for us. How long have you been using this? Since I was like six. And you know that there are resources out there where you can get wheelchairs? Well, yeah, uh, yeah they, they slow me down, honestly. Okay. Well, you know this is a safety hazard. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm sitting here, yeah. Okay. okay. I'll take it. All right. Thank you. We'll put a hold on it, okay? Thank you. How'd you lose your limbs? I was born like this. You were born that yeah. way. Like, I've never seen a skateboard come through here. That was mine. I've never seen a skateboard come through here before. Yeah, that's mine. Why are you use a skateboard? Uh, I mean, I understand that you oh, can no, get around, but uh, why not a chair? I don't know. My uncle gave me one when I was little, way, real young. And uh, uh, I don't know. I just Ever since then, I fell over in one of these and cracked my head open in my kitchen doing wheelies. So, so. just not digging the chair. Yeah, just, uh, just, thank you very much. It, it slows me down. The skateboard's a lot faster. It's a lot faster than you. It's a lot faster. They say it's quick. And I don't see many skateboards come through here. Actually, I've never seen I'm much. in Thrasher magazine. Yeah, I skate pretty good. Really? Do you compete? Uh, I've, I've, I've been sponsored a couple times. How old are you? Me, I'm 23. Almost 23. 23. You, uh, you live on the street, or you got a place where you lay your I'm head? I'm just staying or? with my family right now. OK. I got two kids. Really? Yeah, I got two daughters. So everything is functional below the waist as well? Yeah. Nicely done. So why are you here today? What's going on? Me, uh, theft of services, I guess. Uh, I was went to get, get on the, well, I, I got on the Rose Quarter, was riding the Max, got off at Lloyd Center to pay, because it's passing you know, a free rail zone. Right. The Max machine was out of order. So it wouldn't let me put my money in. So we were going to the next stop, and I was going to get off there, but these guys came on when I was, yeah. Uh, so, said it's my fault. This your first time here? Second. Well, what was your, where's the first time we were here for? First time we were here was for delivery. You have a habit? No, or? not anymore. Uh, I did. But you did. What was your drug of choice? Uh, meth. Meth? Yeah. But that's done and over with now? Yeah. Good. Thanks for your time, partner. You know, that is something I have never seen before come to jail. I've been there 17 years, I've never seen that. Uh, there'll probably be another 20 before I see it again. <laughs> well, if he can stay out of trouble, I mean, he's already in our system, so hopefully, uh, He'll get out of jail here in a few hours, and he won't be coming back. Over the course of the night, I can see a lot of emotional change in people. They can come in desperate. They can come in sad or depressed or angry. We see a lot of anger when people first come in. They can change to calming down quite a bit. I might see some of them on the street, so I like to treat them well and see how they're doing. Boo -boo, boo -boo, and, Ooh, come on over. They have problem in the car too? Uh, no, we had him kind of wrapped up in the car, but out on the out on the road he was. Okay. Andy. Boo 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 boo. How you doing? You got handcuffs on me, so I can't conversation with you on a on a respectful. But yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. You been treated by any medical personnel in the last 24 hours? Die, bitch. Oh, okay. Is it just girls or is it just me? No, no, it's, it's, she's a queer <laughs> lesbian. Doesn't like, doesn't like uh, <laughs> African Americans. Hey, take like these cuffs on me. Hey, you got cuffs on me? When my hands get on the table, I'm respectful. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's pretty much. Does your language oh. clean up then, too? Hey, you know what, whore? As long as you're behind me, you're a slut. Really? Yeah. You're like one of the nicest guys. <laughs> hey, you know, I am. I've been mean, that. Not you. Right here, right here He's talking to me. You, <laughs> you know, behind behind me, you know, they're slut <laughs> behind <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I could not even argue with a thing of her being a snake titted <laughs> bitch. Wow. You're going to no. be nice when these come off? Yeah. I'm going to take off your handcuff. You're going to put your hand on the counter. Now nah, we're cool. Up, Bruce? Too. I've been here before, we're cool. Okay, now you're gonna be respectful? To you guys. 
The stinking horror, you know, is a different story. <laughs> well, can I step back and take it off or you want to? Get his coat. Take it off of you. Right. Rape me, rape me, really? rape me. Rape. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, that's a good rape. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, God. You're making it good. Oh, oh, God, that's good. God. Really, dude. Hallelujah. <laughs> take it, baby, take it, take it. Serious? <laughs> take it, baby, God damn it. Take it, take it. Good. Oh, God, baby. You took it good. Do you enjoy getting arrested this much? No, you know what, whore? <laughs> Do you have any body piercings, tongue rings? Stick your tongue out. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta be a dick for me? Yeah, you know what? Uh, she's a whore. No, she's not. Do you know that, bitch boy? Uh, bitch do you boy. know that? Do you know that? I know that bitch for a boy. Fact. No, you no, don't. No one you guys call me names for. Do you know that? Right, we're gonna do the left side. You don't know that. Hmm? You're gonna prosecute me. You're gonna Am I gonna prosecute you? you? No, you're gonna. Prints on him? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. He's, he's searched. We got to get some prints on you. Yeah. And since you're being a kind of a mouthy little cur. Uh, no, because yeah. you got a lesbian that prosecuted me. You're a woman hater. Yeah. No, I'm not. You got a lesbian. No. I'm I'm not. I haven't been called that many names in a long time. All right. Go in there. Sober up. Hey, you know what? You did that to me. You did this to me. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Did he fight you guys when you arrested him? Uh, no, he was just, he was too drunk to fight. But just more of that stuff? Yeah. He was for interfering with public transportation, in which case he should just be here a few hours, and then he'll be getting out tonight. He wouldn't have followed the direction, so we felt best to put him in an ISO cell where he can sober up a little bit, and he'll be a different <laughs> man. We'll check back with him in a couple hours and see. I'm gonna check on Randy, see how he's doing. He's been in here a little while. He's been pretty quiet. Randy? Yeah. How are you doing? Right. I'm doing okay. Did you find your manners? Yeah. Okay. You let me out or not? Are you ready to come out? Are you ready to play nicely? No. I've always played nice. Not I'm always. Out. I'm freezing my ass out. We're You're a firecracker. Last time I was here, it was Boo Boo, Bobo, and Yogi. <laughs> what caused this uh, homeless and drinking thing to happen to you? Because you seem like a nice enough guy. I worked at the airport. Had security clearance. I was always. I just, we lost our contract. Sixty of us got laid off, and uh, that was a year and a half ago. And uh, that's it. You know. So I just started drinking, and I said. All right, Randy. We're gonna talk to uh, Recog, and they'll probably let you out. Buy me a drink. God bless you. Go have a seat. Me, there, he started out a little bit rough, but he's doing a lot better. That's kind of been his pattern. He comes in drunk and a little bit disorderly, but they'll finish the processing of him. So I think he'll do okay. That's been his pattern in the past. I need a drink. I'm in charge of the reception floor and the booking counter, so basically making sure that everybody's safe and searches and things like that when they come in. Some of the skills it takes working down here, I'd say the most foremost is uh, being patient. Honestly, that's huge. And safety practices. We just got a call about a female combative. Um, they should be here any time now. They want us to meet them in the Sally Port. What's your name? Karen. She, she just very, very, very drunk and very angry with herself. She's not. She, we, had to, we had to carry her down the stairs to get her. So, uh, what is she charged with? Criminal mistreatment. She hit a kid. Uh, she's been drinking as well. She's yeah. way drunk. No. I don't I don't like to be. Don't push me. You know what? I'm calm. I want my purse. Got a couple standard questions. Take these things off me. That's not the answer. Are you uh, diabetic? No. Are you suicidal? Yes. Where and I'm totally drunk, OK? You already know that. Yeah, that I know, but that's not one of the questions. Where take these things off my. Don't take my earrings. All this stuff gets put in your property, and you'll get it when you get released. Peter. Well, 
That's not nice that you threw my pearls. Take these off me. I want you to just want my glasses. Well, get them for you. Just relax. See. We're taking yeah. you out of the cupboard right now, okay? And right. do not mess with those pearls. Need the right hand first. Can I have my glasses, please? Okay, listen. Let us do our job. We're gonna let you get your glasses on so you can see what's happening. I'm not trying to stop you from seeing, okay? I didn't oh, do anything. Okay. It's already on This. What do you mean they're smudged? They're smudged. They're in there, so you can't even tell. I know. And you have my pearls. Don't mess with those pearls, please. We're not. They're gonna go in your property. You'll we'll get them when you get released. Now we're gonna have to take your glasses off because you can't have your glasses while you're in the cell, especially since you said you were suicidal. Okay, so I'm just going to take them off. I mean, I need, I need, I need, I need my glasses. I can't. Turn around and have a seat right here. We can give you a chance to sober up. I need to ask you a question. When you first came in, you said you were feeling suicidal. Do you, do you really feel that way today? No, no. I really just want to go home and sleep in my own bed. I don't, I, I don't want to be locked in, like, this kind of room. So am I... Technically arrested or you are now in custody of the Multnomah County Sheriff's yes, Office. Okay. And I have some concerns because you mentioned suicide. I'm hoping you were just upset. I'm gonna touch base with medical. I wanna go home. I, I wanna go home. And we're gonna work in that direction. I'm gonna look and find out okay. where your property is at and I'll get back with you and let you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. What was Karen's charges? Uh, she is here for mistreatment one, assault three, and harassment. Gotcha. She's at ISO right now. She was talking about she was going to hurt herself, so she's now on suicide watch. Okay. So just give your heads up. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Right here on the wall. Look up for your name. So listen, do you know why you're in an isolation cell? Because I'm crazy. Because your behavior was less than desirable. Okay. okay. I... Do, do you think that if you're allowed to come out of this cell that you can conduct yourself appropriately? Yes. Yes. So you don't want to hurt yourself then? No. Okay. Here's your glasses. Thank you. Stand up. We're ready. When you come... Stop. Stop. Stop moving. When you come out of this room, I want you to... When you come... Stop moving. Listen to what I'm saying. Put your shoes on. Is there any so you hear what I'm saying? Cigarette? No cigarettes. You're gonna get your picture taken. But I'm the one that called the cops to Already. come to my house. I got you. So why am I being the arrested one with black fingerprint things on? So look over here at the blue eyes, okay. right? Okay. You... Keep your glasses on. Just looked on the computer, found out that Karen actually is not going home tonight. Probably going to court tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon um, and be arraigned by the judge, especially when she's formally told of her charges. Tell, tell them all about it. Somebody pooped on my couch and my blanket. This walker? Yeah. Somebody what? Pooped on my couch and my blanket. So why'd you get arrested? Because I hit him because I was tired of their oh. Literally. You yeah. got anything sharp on you, do you? No, no, they've already checked me for everything. Did you hit him with your cane? What did you hit him with? I believe I hit him with my cane, yes. Oh, yeah? Who are these people? Um. They live with you? Ingrid, no. Homeless people who were just looking for a place to sleep. And you let them into your house? I made the, I made the mistake that we've all made. Being too nice. Yeah. So who called the police, did they? They did, yes. I believe one of them had me... Uh, uh, restrained? Restrained. Why is the other one called the police? I don't know. I just told these guys everything. I told them the truth. Because, you know, well, I, I'm here and, and they're walking free. So. Did they rouse them out of your house at least? Um, yes, they did. Right, which, good. you know, it was almost worth it. I don't know why we just couldn't have said I'm sorry to each other. And they you should have done that before you walked well, over. They could have left and I could have been fine. Well, okay. they weren't going to leave. So when you got to the scene, what did you guys see? We saw food, we saw blood, and, this is gonna be and we saw three drunks. So what is he charged with today? Just uh, harassment and assault for. They assaulted me too. Pooped on my couch and assaulted me. I need a, a bus ticket to get out of here when I get out of here. Because I need to go home, I need to go to sleep. Okay, here's a list of your stuff. You get it when you get I'm out on here. a lot of medication. Do you understand that? Okay, you'll be able to tell the nurse about the medication. Look at my head. Look, look what happened to me. 
But Dude, I'm on a lot of medication and, and stop talking so people, people, not sure. If he's prone to hit people with that, I'm not really apt to want to give it to him, to be quite honest. Well, as long as you don't I'm not going to hit anybody with it. I need the cane. I have a shattered pillow. Ask him if he can get around without the cane or if he needs a wheelchair. I don't want to give him the cane. Well, how about we get your wheelchair instead? That way you can't pick that up and hit anybody. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just Thank pissed you. off at the world. I don't know if you guys understand, but... Sarge didn't want him to take the cane inside the jail because he's already assaulted somebody with it. So we got a wheelchair instead. If he tries to pick that up and hit somebody with it, he might have a little more problem with it. Hey, Curtis, why did someone poop on your couch? Because they're alcoholics. I, I, I got pissed off. What did you do? What did you do, though? How did you vent that pissed off? I, I guess I hit him in the head, and then I guess I hit him with my cane. It was think, alcohol. Think maybe in alcohol in your house don't I mix. believe, yes, yes, I okay. do. OK. And I'm, I'm show a little compassion for people who get too drunk and poop on your couch. No. no. Don't come to my house, and that will be easier. OK, why don't you head back there and have I'm, a seat? I'll well, roll your seat back which, there with the other Which way do guys. I go? Straight ahead. I thought my ex-wife was bad at me before, but now I'm going to be really in trouble. That's a new one. You can't make that stuff up. Nobody's going to believe this. This is just one of those days. Uh, all right, bro. Okay, Curtis, here's your property. OK. Here's your release agreement. OK. You know what, they poop on your couch or something? Here I am trying to be a nice guy. Sure. Letting somebody who's on the streets come in sure. for a night and, you know, watch some TV because I get television and... And that started the whole fiasco. Eats my food, dirties my dishes, fills up the sink full of dishes. Now I have no food. I have dirty dishes. And I have poop on things that now I have to wash. So yeah, it's been it's been fun, but at least they're gone. You guys have a good night. Hopefully well, when you get to court you can get it all worked out, okay? I'm sure this shouldn't be an issue. A lot of times some people come into jail. They are very upset with the officer. Sometimes they'll get physical. If they get physical, we have to throw them in isolation. We throw them in isolation, it stops the clock basically on them. A lot of times, due to their own behavior, can cause them to be in jail a lot longer than what they would be if they just went with the program. Let's take my hands. Hey, turn around and face the counter. Hey, this is going to go to a real bet. This is going to go to a real bet. I don't give a f up, man. Get the f out of me. You haven't been searched yet? I don't care. I'm gonna you over to this counter. You're going to walk on your own accord, or it's going to be a bad day for you. I don't you. give a f man. Okay. Stand up. Get up on your feet. Stand up. Bitches. Hey. Like my ass? Hope you like my ass. This did not have to go this direction. You understand that, right? I gave you the opportunity to conduct yourself like a gentleman. What is he brought in on today? What is he here for? He curried his car off of Mount Tabor. The whole mountain? Uh, just a little bit of it. Uh, it really wasn't that far. It was like just a little bit over the curb. He was proving to his friends that he had balls. Well, there's no friends here for you to have to show off with right now, so there's really nothing for you to prove right now. <laughs> Rodrigo, you were being so friendly. you. We're gonna have to sweatshirt off. Well, are you gonna be combative with these handcuffs? Come on. I'm gonna rest the matter what. Cut, cut the sweatshirt off. All right, get the scissors. Sleeves. Get the hands. I can see it. Didn't even have to go this direction with this, man. Turn your head the other way. You can see my. <laughs> Don't grab my finger. I ain't there. Stand up. Walk like a grown up. Got it. Got it. Okay, you're going to need to back up to the door and put your hands through the food board. Pull your hands through. So just so you and I are clear, as long as you're in this cell and we don't have your fingerprints and we don't have your mug shots, this is dead time. This doesn't go toward you going home. 
So until you modify your behavior, you, you stay there. This is not the place for you to try and beat your chest and, and, and have all that bravado going on. It's not designed for you to win that way. You win by acting like an adult. So yeah. when he pulled away from you, I was like, OK, it's not just yeah, that he needs to go to the no. bathroom. Did he give you any problems? Um, no. I mean, he was getting a little lippy on the way down here. He was actually really cooperative about the scene. We kept him out of handcuffs for quite a while until the traffic officer came and you know, did HD on, on his eyes and decided to arrest him. And it's pretty cooperative. Transporting to the air, and he blew. He took a breath test. He blew one nine. He said he was driving. He wasn't drinking. The legal limit's point oh eight. Yeah. That's he's crazy. over double the legal limit without drinking. The drive down here, he started to get a little lippy, and he was listening to my radio, the police radio, and he started responding to. There was some description of a Hispanic male and an unrelated call, so he's like, "Ah, oh, Hispanic male. That's what all you look for," and started getting agitated. And once he got in here, I guess he. It's not, gonna, it's not going to be a good night for him. I can tell that already. <laughs> We're going to check on Rodrigo. He's in ISO number one. Became uh, disrespectful, somewhat combative with the sergeant and the other guys on swing shift. We're going to see if he's sobered up a little. Willing to go with the program and come on out. Hi. I'm Deputy Heener. So here's your charge. It's uh, driving under the influence. You also got a reckless driving with it, which generally they go hand in hand because you had to do something to get the police officer's attention. Remember your demeanor, how you were acting when you came in? When you came to jail? OK. Well, I can kind of enlighten you on what happened. When you came in, you were You do know what happened? OK. What I'd like to do is bring you out, let you sit out with the other people, watch some TV. I need to know if you're willing to cooperate. Yeah. All right, come on out. I'd like for you to walk straight up to that counter right there on the end slip. They uh, come in drunk, sit in the cell, sober up, sleep it off, get really cold. It's amazing what three hours in one of those cold cells will do to somebody that is under the influence and unruly. He came out a whole nother man, completely different than what he did on swing shift. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids, I don't wanna be alone.